When handling pigs, there are a number of techniques, procedures, and best practices you can follow to ensure safety, efficiency, and animal well-being. These guidelines are designed to not only keep you and your animals safe, but also to minimize stress and produce a high-quality product. Basic Pig Behavior Before discussing how to handle and move pigs effectively, handlers must first understand some basic pig behaviors. Why and how pigs react the way they do are important principles that smart handlers understand and use effectively. Firstly, pigs act primarily like prey animals. In most threatening circumstances, they will attempt to avoid a threat rather than to challenge and become aggressive. However, mature animals are capable of aggression if provoked. Both sows that are protecting their litter and boars, in general, are prone to aggression. Pigs use their sight, hearing, and sense of smell to investigate unfamiliar places and to track potential threats. Pig sight is different from humans. In humans, both eyes work together as binocular vision over a range of about 120 degree visual arc to the front. However, pigs, like other prey animals, can see most of the way around them, around 310 degrees, which allows them to spot threats from as many directions as possible with the exception of a blind spot situated directly behind them. However, their frontal binocular vision only covers a range of about 50 degrees, giving them poor depth and distance perception. This means that changes in flooring or objects on the floor of an alley may cause them to slow down or stop in order to investigate as they get closer where they can interpret whether this is a threat or not. Pigs will try to orient themselves facing a potential threat, keeping the threat in sight until they decide whether they need to move away or if it is safe to approach. Pigs are alerted by sudden, jerky movements and will treat quicker, jerkier movements as greater potential threats than slower, less sudden movements. Pigs also use their hearing to pay attention to things, including those that are in their blind spot. Pigs will pay attention with their ears, raising them and pointing or turning them in the direction of what they are paying attention to. When a pig has its ears raised, it usually means that it is actively tracking a potential threat. Pigs are very sensitive to sudden noises, as it may be the first sign of danger. While it's not apparent to us, pigs have a keen sense of smell. Their response to a new object or floor surface may be to stop and slow down until they have had a chance to sniff it and see it closely before moving on. Be patient if a pig seems wary of moving onto unfamiliar flooring or past an unfamiliar object. They are just being cautious and require time to process whether there is a potential threat. Better yet, ensure flooring surfaces are as consistent as possible and that no unfamiliar objects are in the way of the pig's movement. Pigs like to keep potential threats a certain distance away from them, effectively maintaining a personal space around them. We call that space their flight zone. The size of a pig's flight zone is related to preventing a perceived threat from getting too close and it will vary in size depending on its age, its previous exposure to the approaching threat, its current level of excitement, and the intensity of the perceived threat. Younger pigs will generally have larger flight zones than older pigs. You can tell when you have entered a pig's flight zone because the pig will begin to react by attempting to move away if it has the space to do so or to circle around you or seek protection in the herd if there is no space to get away. Pigs' main source of protection is the herd. As herd animals, they are strongly motivated to follow and avoid being separated from each other. Herd behavior is especially pronounced in young pigs. As pigs become more fearful, they become less likely to leave the protection of the herd, choosing instead to stick closer together. Herd behavior is most noticeable when groups of pigs follow one another, in effect, forming a flow or when they bunch together in response to a threat. Bunching, as seen here, is a response that pigs will demonstrate when they do not have space to get away from a perceived threat. Notice that they are crowded, not moving, and their ears are pointed backwards listening to the perceived threat. Pigs choose this response when they have no space to turn or escape. Another behavior that pigs display in response to a threat is circling. Notice that the pigs closest to the handler keep attempting to avoid him by circling around him while staying close to the group. Pigs will choose this response when they feel pressure in their flight zone and there is space to turn. 
This allows them to get away from the perceived threat while keeping it in their sight. Circling can be used calmly and effectively to move pigs, for example, out of a pen, but causing pigs to circle multiple times will quickly raise their anxiety levels. Strong bunching and frantic circling responses may indicate increased anxiety and defensiveness. Most problems that occur during handling are caused by excited animals. Avoiding the use of fear as a motivator is the key to keeping pigs calm and reducing the stress of handling for both the pigs and the handler. During movement, when pigs are calm, they will walk or trot with their heads and ears held low, and their attention will be on following the herd. Also notice there is little to no vocalizing. When pigs are more defensive, they will still walk or trot, but their heads and ears will be up. They will be more alert and they will pay more attention to potential threats. And, as they become more defensive, they will engage in heightened defense responses such as circling, bunching, and piling. When pigs become fearful, they will panic. This is demonstrated by high-pitched vocalizing and uncontrolled movements such as churning, jumping, and piling. Fear, and especially panic, should be avoided at all costs. It causes unnecessary stress and interferes with good pig flow. Panic can be caused by a variety of factors, including perceived high-level threat, loss of control, such as when a pig is swept off its feet by pen mates, slippery flooring, crowding, aggressive handling, and misuse of handling tools or techniques. Even just one pig in a state of panic can create problems in the group as the other pigs will respond to its signal of a high-level threat. Pigs pay attention with their hearing, their sight, and their sense of smell. Pigs like to keep potential threats out of their flight zone. Pigs see the herd as their primary source of protection and like to stay within it. Pigs will follow and flow with the herd in response to a pressure when they are calm and there is space to move away. Pigs will bunch together in response to a strong pressure when they are unable to move away, escape, or turn. Pigs will circle around a threat when they feel continuously pressured and they have room to turn past the threat. Handlers need to recognize the signs of and respond to increasing anxiety by giving pigs more time and space. Pigs are easiest to move when they are calm. A good herdsperson takes steps to reduce anxiety and fearfulness in their herd, subsequently increasing the ease of handling events.